so here we are in Stanthorpe just for a quick overnighter apparently Stanthorpe boasts the cleanest toilets in all of Queensland that's it I don't know how they measure it if there's like a toilet cleanest toilet voting thing I'm not too sure but I thought hey they, they got this pamphlet and it says come and check it out if come and have a look and go on a, a dunny run so this is it this is the dunny run so the first couple of toilets are up here in town and we're going to go around and check them all out let's just see how clean Stanthorpe's dunnies are let's do it Run. Okay, so here's my street map, here's my finger, and this is where we're staying. Our first toilet, we walk down the street and go to Farley Street, which is the Piazza. Then we head up to Brock Park, and there's another toilet there. Then I run up to Mount Marley, where I run around like a freak. Then I go down Lock Street, and I go all the way to Wee Runa Park. Then I head over to the Fred Rogers Park, the Information Centre Toilet, the Lions Park, and I head back home for Brecky. Then I jump in a car and go down to Wallangarra Road, and all the way back up to our final dunny, which is all the way at Storm King Dam. So the first one is meant to be here on Farley Street, where the post office is. So it's meant to be literally up on this corner. I don't know what the goal is, I can't see the first toilet that's on the map. Oh, hang on, here we go. Good thing I didn't give up too quickly. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> Let's go see how clean these dunnies are. Okay. I mean, easy to clean down. It's all stainless steel on the inside there. And let's just. <laughs> okay, it's pretty tidy, pretty clean. Apart from the. Uh... So, this first toilet is opposite the Stanthorpe Freemasons Centre. That's one toilet down. There's only seven more to find. <laughs> Let's go. There's a pub here right in the centre. I'll never forget about, I don't know, 20, 23 years ago. We stayed here at the pub for quite a few nights as we were working and working upon the Stanthorpe State School. Used to be in construction back then. And man, we stayed and did work there in winter and stayed in some dodgy, cold, freezing room at this hotel. The meals were good though, but man, it was freezing. Yeah, nice memory just to come back here after all these years. So Stanthorpe, it's quite a beautiful town here. It's quite large. There's over 5,000 people living here as of the 2016 census. I mean, last week we stayed at Pittsworth, which is just more west of Toowoomba. It's got about 3,000, 5,000 here. And it's just to compare, if you know Logan City, Beanley, Beanley has over 8,000 people. I love these trees, eh? I don't know the exact name. Aren't they a form of weeping willow? All right, should be soon coming to this next block of toilets, which is on Brock Avenue. You can see I'm running beside Brock Avenue now. Somewhere here. There it is. I see it there. So I'm going to visit each and every one of these toilets. The cleanest toilets in Queensland, whilst in Stanthorpe. I'm not leaving Stanthorpe until I visit every toilet. Small and sweet, isn't it? One with a big cowboy and horsey. Oh, 
Let's see how clean these toilets are. It was on their map. Cleanest toilets in Queensland. Okay. For an old brick and I know, timber and tin roof toilet, it's starting to go a bit rotten there, but hey, this is still pretty clean. I'm a bit scared to open it up. Ah, forget it, let's do it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Holy dooly, that freaked me out. Jeez, I should not have done that. That was scary. I'll save my trip up Mount Marley for a different video. And here's the train overpass. This runs on Lock Street and across it. No idea how often the trains go here. I'm, I take it this is like a freight train line from New South Wales, Queensland. This is a new Aldi in Stanthorpe. And if they've got Aldi, you know they've done their research into a growing area. Oh, here we go. They're attached to the pool. Oh wow. This is like the, uh, I don't know, five star. No, it is pretty clean. <laughs> By the way, I don't need to go <laughs> as I'm going in these places. Just showing you the dunnies. But this is pretty cool, pretty clean. All right, so they're the toilets that are at Wee Runa, Wee Runa Park. So we're going to head on down to another toilet that's at another park a couple of clicks away from here. Let's see if they are up to scratch by the Dunny Inspector. This is quite nice. This is called Quart Pot Creek. Toilet is opposite the Fred Rogers Memorial Park and it's over in that park ground. It does look pretty tidy. Inspection time. I love it how they're all stainless steel, you just Get the big fire hose and wash it all out. This is pretty tidy. I'm impressed. It passed. Check. It's got such nice flowers. All the bees are gathering their pollen now. So here's the main road that goes through Stanthorpe Town. It's a beautiful old bridge. I love this underpass. Anyway, there's two more toilet blocks to check out here. One's here near the information centre. Another one's just on the other side. And I can see it now, which is right near where we're staying. So we'll check out this one first. Now I can notice a few cars here. So this is going to be a bit dodge and sketch. Me filming the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice, like a bit of a rock pool. Let's get up to the information centre. Look like a complete weirdo filming the dunnies. Alright, here's our next set of toilets which is attached to the information centre here. is going to be bad because uh, some dude just came out. However, not too bad. It's uh, 
<laughs> it's pretty tidy. This is just so silly. <laughs> um, okay, just gonna inspect one more toilet here, but first, look at this. How cool is this? This is like the world's biggest thermometer here in Stanthorpe. It's 17.3 degrees here. But just how cool does this thing look? This is amazing. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Let's go. I want to show you this really cool water feature I saw yesterday. Is this water feature? Here's toilet number five, no, number six, I think. And this is at the um, Lions Park Southern Bypass, opposite the information center. And here we go, the gents. Knock, knock, this is the toilet police. Probably a little bit untidy there. Still, smells great, as far as public toilets goes. And uh, a couple of broken tiles. This, uh, this one could use a bit of a, I don't know, tidy up. There's still two more toilets. There's like eight public toilets. One's probably about another one or two kilometers down the main road. And then there's another it's, one, and it's about 12 kilometers down. So we might do a drive there. I've got to get back for some breakfast and keep the missus happy. So I'll film those um, during the day. Good thing where I'm staying is really close. The Apple and Grape Motel. Can I recommend these? Like this is pretty nice. Very clean, tidy, recently renovated. And it's only costing us $135 for one night stay. In my book, that's pretty, pretty good price for accommodation. Good morning. <laughs> I'm back. Whew. I've been out exploring toilets. <laughs> it's been great. Here we go, Wollongara Road. This is number seven of eight. Here we go. Let me check this out. This is so exciting, honey. Here we go. Toilet inspector coming. Oh, wow. That passes the test. That's one clean cubicle. This lavatory is luxurious. This is probably the nicest toilet I've come across so far. Well, this is it. This is beautiful. Wollongara Road. Just a couple of clicks outside Stanthorpe City. And now we've got one more, one more left. And that's gonna be the toilet block at Storm King Dam. That'll be our last dunny to check out. Let's go. And here we are, Storm King Dam. And here's what we came here for, the toilet block. Just going for a quick drive here. This is really nice. Storm King Dam. Never seen this before, never heard of it. We're the only ones here. Hey, this is beautiful. This is really nice, hun. Quite a nice breeze today, isn't it? Yeah. 
All right, let's go why we came here for, and that's to check out the toilets. Toilet number eight. On our search for all the public toilets in all of Stanthorpe. This is lucky last final public toilet on the Queensland's cleanest toilet dunny list. <laughs> now these types of toilets are always quite a bit more sketch and you kind of think twice before going in because you just don't know who's going to be in here. Okay, it's a bit of graffiti. Yeah, okay. This, yeah. They could do with a bit of a clean if you want to keep your title. Okay. And I'm almost, almost scared already. And right here is where I thought it'd be best to finish this video. Thank you for watching and I will catch up with you next time. What? what? You want more toilet action? Well, alrighty then. Actually, this one's not too bad. That's alright. Oh, look, dude, there's a big toilet roll. That's like from Costco. Alright, so that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this uh, dunny run. Something different, eh? Um, I'm going to be the first person that's ever done this, I'm sure of it. The first insane person. But anyway, uh, if they're going to be having the title that Stantorp's got the cleanest toilet in all of Queensland, please come and check out our dunnies. That's exactly what I did. I checked out all eight in the township here, all eight public toilets. Which one do you think you'd go to? I know which one I'd be going to. Out of the eight, vote now. Vote now which one is Stanthorpe's cleanest public toilet. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you next time. Wait, are you seriously gonna slap us after watching your stinking toilet movie?